All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rachak Kodash, with the bonus to the elder apostles, Great Millstone, Zaytation, and much love to you, Akim out there pushing out this word of truth and sincerity. And uh, I just want to do a quick video. It's going to be somewhat of a um, a review on this movie. Not really, though. It just inspired me. This I uh, watched seen this movie on uh, Netflix, and it inspired me to do a video on the on the chariot to the Lord. Um, so without uh going too much into this movie, I'm just gonna hit a couple points of it. All right, because uh this movie is called At First Light. It's pretty much about the chariot to the Lord. All right, I recommend brothers watch it. It's uh it's pretty good. So I'll give you a synopsis of it. Um. This girl right here, she uh she's about to die. She's in the water. She's drowning, or some shit. And uh, pretty much the chariots, they pretty much save her, and then uh, she gets spiritual powers. And of course, they use a woman in the movie, but you know that's that's symbolic of what's gonna happen, onto certain brothers of the elect. All right, but um, so she gets spiritual powers and she begins to heal people. She heals this old lady. All right. Um, she has like super strength. She's able to. Uh, uh, she's pretty much mag. She can uh, like Magneto from X Men. She can handle the, you know, different uh, metals and shit. And uh, you know, so the movie goes on. She's doing all that running from the people trying to get her. She meets up with this one guy, which knew about the chariots. He's and he, he expounds on it to her and her little buddy, uh, that, that's like uh, rolling with her. And uh, he's 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 explaining to the to the kid that uh, you know the chariot the, what the chariots are. He's like, what are they? He's telling them they're just light. But you know, Esau got to throw some 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 uh, some nonsense in there. But he was pretty much on point as far as uh, what they were. That you know, he was like, we can't hide it no more. Everybody's got a camera. Whoop de whoop. But then the the what what, what really uh, inspired me to do this movie was that the final the end scene right here. The right um. When the lights start to come down, which that, you know, they call them the lights, but really it's the chariots. All right. Um, you know, that, that's how they would appear. They would appear as lights. And uh, this, so, so they it starts coming down. And the kid, the, the dude right here, he's like, don't leave. And she tells him. She said, we're here. It'll be better now. And that's symbolic of, of the uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh, when uh, Yahweh Shai and his elect come down on the earth, man, after they get beamed up, all right, after, and, and really when Yahweh Shai gets here, man, with the light of the world, all right, and everything's going to be better, okay, so, you know, just leave that on there, so, like I said, watch that, check that movie out, brothers, that ending was, uh, that's what, you know, when she said that, I was like, damn, you see, Esau knows what was going on, man, but um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into these scriptures because she was pretty much beamed up into the chariot you know brothers just just watch the movie you'll know what i'm talking about uh, it's, it's, a, it's a spiritual movie they show the the spiritual uh powers spirit you know spiritual abilities and then the chariots of course which they call them lights in the movie but uh nonetheless let's just go ahead and uh jump into these scriptures here um i'm gonna start in wisdom of solomon Like it. But you know what? I just use my phone. That right, is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. And that's what how the elect all right, of Yahweh Bashim al Shai are, is going to receive salvation through what these people call uh, UFOs, which they're the chariots of the Lord. So we call them IFOs, identified flying objects. And they show in that movie how the people are monitoring that, you know, and, and the, the, the military has come out now and openly said it because there's so much evidence out there now that they can't, they can no longer dismiss it. They can no longer say, oh, it's a hoax or, you know, just just it was a weather balloon. No, it's it's right there in your face. All right. The lights are in the sky. I've personally seen three in my life. I have personally seen three. OK. And 
you know, so it's 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 it's, it's strange to these people because they they you know they 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 thinking it's Hollywood, you know, you know they're thinking of Hollywood type, um, um, you know, UFOs, or green little aliens in there and whatnot. Really, when it's the angels of the Lord, all right. So that's why people are gonna be troubled, astonished. All right, and as a matter of fact, the Lord Himself is going to return in a so-called UFO, the chariot of the Lord. All right, and we can prove that through the Scriptures. This is a Revelation one and seven. Behold, He cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see Him, and they also which pierced Him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of Him. Even so, I'm on. So. Everyone's going to see him return because he's coming in the clouds. And let me get a scripture. Make clouds. Okay. Psalms 104 and 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind. All right. So the, the clouds that it's referring to in that... Uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, is talking about the chariots of the Lord. All right, the Lord Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, is returning in a chariot, all right, with his host. He's coming with band, thousands and thousands, all right, of, of, of chariots. And Yahweh Shai is going to be in the Father chariot, the biggest one, all right, like they showed in that movie Independence Day, all right, where it was a big, you couldn't even really see the end of it. And if you go into the uh, second Ezra, It'll it'll expound on that. I believe thirteenth chapter around around about there. All right, where where Ezra said he couldn't even see. He thought it was a mountain carved out of the earth, cause he couldn't see the end of it. Okay, he couldn't see the beginning. He couldn't see the end of it. And yep, it was a, a revelation or Second Ezra thirteen. Well, I'll just read it. Second Ezra thirteen and um. And uh, I'll start at I'll start at six, but just get straight to the point. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. But I would have seen the region or place wherewith the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which you know that goes into something else. But uh, that you know of how Esau is going to try to fight the Lord. All right, that's why uh, there's going to be a war in the heavens. That's talking about Esau and his military against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's military, all right, which Yahweh Shai is going to be leading it. All right, so that great mountain is going to be, okay, um, the chariot that Yahweh Shai is going to be in. That's why it says, Behold, he, Revelation 1 and 7 again, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so am I. Okay, so that's that's how the Lord's returning, and that's how He's going to deliver His elect. Okay, and we can prove that as well. First uh, Thessalonians chapter four, and I'll start at sixteen. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Shall uh, shall rise first. So when the Lord returns, all right, and gives that shout. Which is we'll get in the in the book of Revelation. All right, he's gonna he's gonna um, that's when he comes back in them chariots and, and guess who's coming with him? The angels and the ones that have uh have died or gone to sleep in this ministry in this word knowing this truth. Okay, they're gonna be risen with him. All right, and let's get well. I'll get it in a second. Then verse seventeen. Then we which are alive. And remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord. And see, there goes that word clouds again, which we read in Psalms 104. He, he maketh the clouds his chariots. All right. To meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. All right. So we're going to meet the Lord in the air. How is that? Because he's going to he's going to beam us up just like in that movie. <laughs> you know, the, the lights are going to come, which, you know. Uh, did did not say that that Israel when they left Egypt was led by a pillar of fire at night. What is what does fire create in the night? It creates light, man. So that's what the what was coming off of those uh, chariots, man. Different lights. All right, I've seen three different color chariots. I've seen a green one or a barrel, as Ezekiel one says. Uh, 
I've seen an amber one, which you could call fire, all right? And then I've seen a, a, a bright white one, a bright white light. And then um, in Revelation, what is that, a, a 10? Revelation 10, it says that there was one uh, with um, the rainbow on his head, meaning the color of lights, man. The color of lights were, were different colors, all right? So now let's go to Revelation 11. And see what that shout's going to be. Because we read that he's going to come with a shout. So let's go to Revelation 11 and 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of... Oh, actually, let me go to 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. That's why we read in Wisdom of Solomon 5 that they're going to be amazed. As the at the strangeness as the, at the strangeness of our salvation. That's how we're getting delivered, brothers. All right, Lord's will be part of that number. That's how our deliverance is going to come through those chariots of the Lord, the UFOs, the clouds, whatever you want to call them. All right, that's the instrument of our salvation. Okay, we're going to be called up into the sky to meet the Lord. That's why he said, "Come up hither." That's that great voice that, uh, that we're going to hear, man. Come up out of her, my people, <laughs> that you be not partakers, partakers of her sins. Because that's what's going to happen, man. The nukes are going to be coming at the same time. That's why the scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved. So, our Lord's will, I got the point across. You know, it says, we call she's the answer. That she is the nation of Israel. <laughs> you know, but you check that movie out. You know, it's, it's spiritual. You know, you know, you just got to pick the bones for the meat, of course, but... Over overall, it's a, it's a good movie, I'd say, and uh, you know, get the spiritual meaning out of it. it just goes to show you, Esau is, is a is a conniving demon, devil, puts it right in your face, man. But you know, Lord's word is edifying unto the unto the hopeful elect. Shalom.